Recently, I had a request to show the beverage operation, but instead of using the AM broadcast band, could I demonstrate the use of the beverage with uh, single sideband signals? I thought about how I would do this, and tuning the amateur radio bands and finding consistent sideband signals is, is not very really easy. So what I decided to do was tune in one of the plentiful sideband aviation weather recordings. Usually it's a computerized voice. But I think it'll demonstrate the same thing. So what I have here is a display of my Apache Lab 7000 running Thetis, Thetis version. And we're tuned to 5505 kilohertz, where there is a single sideband aviation broadcast. This is a continual, continuous audio broadcast of aviation weather conditions, but it will help highlight how well you can compare a beverage antenna against a typical uh, wire antenna that you would use for transmitting. So, what you will hear and what you will see is my transceiver tuned to 5505 kilohertz. And most people listening to sideband transmissions would say this is perfectly acceptable. But what if I told you that there is a much better way to listen to sideband signals? And then listen to the difference when we listen to the same station while connected to a 600-foot traveling wave beverage antenna. I will switch now. You will see the TX antenna will switch to RX antenna. So immediately your observation is, wow, the noise floor is down around S2. The receive signal is not quite as high at just under S7. But the difference that the beverage delivers is the fact that there is a tremendously higher signal-to-noise ratio. And right off the bat, you can tell that this sideband signal is much more intelligible on the beverage antenna. I'll switch back and forth between these two antennas so you see what the difference is. And this is the kind of difference that you will get on the amateur radio bands when switching between using your transmit antenna for receive or using a low noise antenna like a beverage for receive. So again, you're listening to the beverage. Let's switch back over to the transmit loop. This is the transmit loop. Noise flow comes up. Signal to noise ratio goes down. And although the overall signal strength is a couple less units stronger, the signal is not as pleasant to listen to. We switch back to the beverage. Beverage. Transmit loop. Again, 600 foot horizontal loop at 65 feet. 600 foot long beverage antenna mounted about 7 feet above the ground. 7 feet above the ground. We'll go back to the transmit loop antenna. Transmit loop. And there's the beverage antenna. Hopefully this demonstrates more realistic, rather than using the broadcast station demonstration where we're switching between AM broadcast stations. This is more what it would be like on the amateur radio bands. Oh, at 55 or 5 kilohertz, we're close to right in between 80 meters and 40 meters, and you can see the uh, 600 foot beverage performs very well even at these higher frequencies. Thanks for listening and watching.